Welcome to GreenBiz Studio. I'm Liz Morrison, Mobility Analyst at GreenBiz, and I'm excited to be speaking with Asim Hussein, Chief Marketing Officer at QuantumScape. Welcome, Asim. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. So tell me, what makes QuantumScape's battery different than other batteries that are commonly used today? So lithium ion batteries are used today and lithium ion batteries have three parts. They have a cathode, anode and separator. And what happens is that in the anode, there's hosted material such as graphite or silicon where the lithium ions when the battery is charged have to go and sit. And then when it's discharged, come out of that material back into the cathode. What's different about um, the QuantumScape battery approach is that we have a lithium metal technology such that we have a ceramic separator that's solid. That's why it's a solid state battery. And lithium actually plates right on top of that ceramic. So there's no hosted material in the anode. So that's why we call it an anode free architecture in fact, because there is no anode when the battery is discharged. The anode actually forms when the battery is charged. What that means is that you're increasing the energy density of the battery. The battery takes up a lot less space. So you're improving that energy density by 50 to 80%. Um, and what it also means is that you can charge and discharge that battery a lot faster because the lithium doesn't have to go into that hosted material or come out of it. It's directly plating on that ceramic separator um, and then moving right back down to the cathode directly when it's discharged. I've heard something called a, a step change improvement in your battery. Can you tell me a little bit about what this is and how it affects the driving experience? Absolutely, so that's the most exciting part, right? The, the technology is fantastic in terms of some of the attributes I just described, but what does that mean for a driver um, is that they can now fit more battery in the vehicle because we've shrunk the size of the battery, right? Um, and that means more range, so greater energy density, uh, greater power density. What power density means is how fast can you charge or discharge the battery? So we're able to, for example, charge a battery zero to 80% in 15 minutes. So from a driving experience standpoint, you know, if you think about the gas station of the future for EVs, it could be some sort of retail shopping or some other very short stop type of experience, what, but they can get most of that range very, very quickly um, through the charging. The other aspects are that when you eliminate the anode, you're essentially reducing the cost of the battery. What's our most fundamental issue right now is that EVs cost a lot of money. And that is due to battery limitations and the cost of the battery. It's been coming down but when we think about a step change, it's got to be, you know, 20, 30 percent, not just, you know, a few percentage points every year, because for the mass market adoption, we need cars that are 20 to thirty thousand dollar range, not the fifty thousand dollar plus range. So that's what we'd like to enable. And finally, the last point I touch on is safety, because we use less of a hydrocarbon material and it's a solid state battery with a separator that is not flammable in the middle of the battery, you essentially have a battery that's a lot safer as well. So that actually has an impact both on the driver safety aspect, but also on the cost aspect, because you don't have to do all that engineering around the battery to try to make it safer the way you do with lithium ion. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting stuff. Um, how are you guys progressing with your manufacturing plans? So what we've done is we've, developed the electrochemistry for the battery. That was the process that the company went through over the last 10 years. And right now what we're doing is we're actually building a smaller uh, sort of pilot manufacturing facility here in San Jose. We're very excited about that. Um, that's gonna allow us to put, develop test batteries that will go in cars for testing in the 2023 timeframe. And then in the 2024, 2025 timeframe, we'll be building our first gigawatt hour factory. And that's going to be in a joint venture with Volkswagen. Excellent. I can't wait to see how that progresses. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We're really glad that you joined us. You just heard from Asim Hussein, Chief Marketing Officer at QuantumScape. Thanks for being in the studio. Thank you.